Now, my next guest has a colourful background. Her mother is Hellcat Savage, an all-in wrestler, famous in the Wirral. She's got a son with a criminal record, a daughter who's married to a Hells Angel, and an incontinent whippet. However, this is a story of talent triumphing over adversity. Today, she's a sex symbol whose appeal crosses the divides of class, race, and gender. Welcome, please, Lily Savage. <laughs> Sensational outfit. It's sort of thing away for the PCA, you know what I mean? Or <laughs> if I'm up in court, normally stuns the magistrate and I get off. <laughs> and listen, I just was like, what an honour to be on this, isn't it? To be in Parky, Swivel, Chet, it's still warm off Liam Neeson. Oh. <laughs> it's the closest I'm going to get, isn't it? That's <laughs> it's, 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 is he your kind of man? He is. He's tall and he's rich and he's got clean hands and he <laughs> breathes, so he'll do me fine. <laughs> Clean hands are important, though. Oh, very clean. I yes. mean, you don't want some fellows just had mushy peas and chips in a plastic <laughs> part and doing having a fumble in your blouse. You don't want none of that. Have you had, I mean, it's an indelicate question, really, but I mean, have you had lots of experience? At what? <laughs> <laughs> With men. What's going on? Do you know uh, Jim Sheridan? No, Liam was on about Oscar Wilde. Yes. Jim Sheridan was going to do the movie, you know, and he rang me up and he said, I'd like you to play the brothel, madam. <laughs> then Esther rang me and she said, I'm doing a documentary about prostitutes. <laughs> and now you're asking me, am I easy lay? I mean, what is going on? <laughs> that wasn't the question. I just wanted to... I mean, if you just... fancy a bit, we just, you know, like, no. we just... Be... <laughs> we go to the pictures, we go to a harvester, and that's it. You don't have to go declaring it on air. In fact, cut the dinner, we just get down to it. <laughs> no, I mean, a sort of... I forgot what you asked me now. It's not to get propositions on the telly, is it? Hey? <laughs> now, tell us about Blankety Blank, because this is the, the, the big one, isn't it? I mean, here we are, the first woman ever to do this Blankety is it. Blank. I'm like, it's, also, it's like being an Avenger Gale, you know what I mean? <laughs> so if Terry Wogan was uh, Kathy Gale, Les was <laughs> Diana Rigg, I'm Tara King, yeah. <laughs> or being Doctor Who, the new Doctor Who, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's um, how can I describe it? Um, it's a load of rubbish, really. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. No, it's good fun. I'm rub you know, because everybody rubbishes it, don't they say blankety blank? Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's actually, when you're doing it, it's a hoot. Because I'm running around like a whippet, back and forth, back and forth, <laughs> with these stupid questions. Uh, his blank, uh, his blank, you know what I mean? And it's like, you start to twitch, and then they go, blankety blank, blankety blank, blankety blank, blankety blank. You know, I woke up the other morning, honestly, the clock went off, and I woke up and they went, blank as a blank, blank as a blank, save a match game, save a match game, yeah. and I got, and I had to smash my head on the bathroom sink to come down. Stop, <laughs> <laughs> Lily. <laughs> and there's little things I've learned. Like what? Like the auto cue. Ah. I can't do them. You can't? No. You no. can't use auto cue. Right? This is me on an auto cue. I stand there and I go, and now it's time <laughs> for the, the what? The super match game. <laughs> And let's meet our contestants who are desperate to play blankety blank. <laughs> Don't put a full stop after desperate. So I can't, I've had to have it switched off, Michael. I turn into a newsreader. You do. Yeah, so you just Angela ripping. <laughs> you're you are limit then, do you? I do. Yeah. I'd much oh. sooner do that sooner wing it. You have more of a laugh, especially with the contestants. So I mean, and and the celebs. Although I call them turns. I hate that word, celeb. Yes. Celebrity. Yes. Makes you sound like you grin a lot and go out with Bonnie Langford, doesn't it? <laughs> celeb. Yes, I'm a celeb, yeah. I mean, hello. If you want to come round and photograph my house, I hope my dead body is stepping <laughs> over my bin liners. I'm sorry. No way. Don't go in for that, Joe. No. No, not at all. No. Now, uh, what about television, generally speaking? I mean, I mean, do you watch a lot of television yourself? I do, actually, yeah. What do you, what, what do you like? I'm a bit soft. <clears throat> I don't mean that, like, you know, a bit... <laughs> Where'd you get these? I have quite a passive fat side, you know? I like, I like things like casualty. I like oh. saying limbs coming off, you know, and all that. <laughs> and I love um, that animal hospital. Oh, I love it. Rolf Harris. Except they're just about to cut some dog open, right? And next thing Rolf said appears. <laughs> now, they're going to remove the bowel. And you're eating cottage pie? Ah, oh, sorry, no. <laughs> or they say things to you like, they're going to have to put the dog down. Oh, no. And then they play a violin. <laughs> As the vet goes in and tells the poor old woman who's had this dog, 30 odd years, it's going to be put down. It's, they shouldn't do that to people, should they? I want to throw myself off Tower Bridge after I've seen that. I'm an animal lover. I mean, I've got two of my own. I know. You've got this whippet. Is it still incontinent? My queenie? Oh. Yes. Well, you know, she's got, she was a champion racer in the 50s. <laughs> this was. <laughs> Seriously. 
in the 50s. In the 50s. A very old girl. Oh, she's Jurassic, my queen, eh, honestly. <laughs> I'm sure she's a pedodactyl, we just haven't looked. <laughs> And she's put weight on Michael now, she? and of course she's had 15 litters, oh. so everything's hanging, oh. hanging. So when she crosses, goes, goes across the line, oh, I mean, you should hear the noise. It sounds like a gang of women in flip-flops on wet sands. Slap, slap, slap. Sometimes she sticks, I have to give her a push. And I've got my buster, of course. Who's buster. A little tiny thing. Mm -hmm. And you know we're supposed to be a country of animal lovers? You try getting in a hotel with a dog, I'm telling you. They go beds. The ass alive had in hotels. Hang on, there's ears all over me face here. Looks like I'm on the back of a motorbike. And um, I was in this hotel in Manchester. This is true. I won't say where. Oh, not because I'll get sued, because they you know if they're watching. And this manager persecuted me because I had my poor buster. And the lobby was packed, and I came out, and he said, Your dog's pooed in the lift. <laughs> he didn't say pooed, he said another word. Did he? he said defecated or something. <laughs> Your dog, he said, defecated. Uh, yeah. <laughs> defecated. That's it. No. I knew it was something. I knew it was something like that. Your dog, he said, defecated in the lift. <laughs> I said, my dog never defecated in the lift. I said, I did. Shut it. <laughs> defecated. What is it? Defecated. <laughs> I'm no good at language. No. Any bad language. No, it's not deprecated. It's defecated. Deprecated. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about things like that on the telly. Honestly, people are having their Oval team now. <laughs> they won't sleep. Give us a Valium. Now, <laughs> this thing about becoming the sort of superstar, which you are, <laughs> you are now, <laughs> is, uh, I mean, obviously there's lots of spin-offs now from your... Uh, celebrity's not a word you, you, you like, I know, but I have to use it in this case. From your fame. And, and, and you've got now this, this range of sort of, uh, you, what, what have you got, is it products you've got? Oh, my beauty, I've opened a clinic. A clinic? Oh, yes. Ah. Not that sort of clinic. <laughs> That's where, the old days. Where's the clinic? <laughs> it's in uh, Vauxhall. <laughs> Vauxhall? South London. Yes, and on, um, <laughs> Well, you know how old they all say now, they call Clapham Clam. Yes. And Stockwell, St. Ockwell. <laughs> well, we'd call Vauxhall Vauxhall. So. Oh, Vauxhall. Vauxhall. And my clinic's on the Rue de la South Lambert. Oh. <laughs> the South Lambert Road to you lot. <laughs> and it's the Lily Savage Flame of Land Dudno Skin Rejuvenation Centre. We go in for chemical peels, you know? Oh. You know where they peel your skin with AHA and TCA fruit acids, where we get down to the lower dermis to improve skill. You know what I mean? <laughs> Never heard of it? <laughs> it's a fruit acid. Oh, Vera makes it with Ribeno and battery acid in the back kitchen. <laughs> Paint it. You know our Vera had her own <laughs> product. Vera. That's my sister, Vera. I know, Vera. I know. Well, she, you see, she had her own product, our Vera. <laughs> Seriously, called Aloe Vera, and somebody nipped it. <laughs> so we're keeping this under wraps. But it's marvellous. We do skin resurfacing, where we take the whole layer... It's not but a skull left when our Vera's finished <laughs> with you. She's at you with... Honestly, we take the whole layer of skin off. And we don't use lasers. What we do is we tie it to the back of a motorbike. <laughs> And we go 60 mile an hour, hell for leather down South Lambeth Road and push it off the back and your skin's out. And honest to God, you've got new skin. <laughs> About three years later, you've got new skin. <laughs> but it's worth it. It looks fabulous. Are this for, for men as well? Oh, I men can use it. I mean, there's all this business in the papers, but yeah, isn't there? With the bonnet. What, what's that? About, you know, having a rinse on it. <laughs> Where do you read this? I've got a tabloid. I was putting in the cat litter train. I thought, what's this about? <laughs> I was just bending down and putting the gravel on. I said, what's this about Paggy down his ear? <laughs> Let me tell you now, as an expert on 90 volume products, not that I ever have. No. <laughs> Never. No. See this here? Yes. Everyone says that's roots. It's not. When the savages hit puberty, it's like the Malin streak. <laughs> we honestly, we get the savage blot. <laughs> You wake up 14 years of age with a brassier on and that, I'm telling you. <laughs> and like, so I, you know Brussels has banned peroxide? No, I didn't you know. You can't that. use 90 volume peroxide. You can't? No, I mean, you know, what are we going to do? It's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> and I can spot a dyed head at 50 paces and there's not a drop on that head, let me tell you. Thank you. I'm telling you. I'm glad you said that. No, I'm glad you said that. Not a drop. <laughs> I actually, I actually did read that story. Did you? Did yeah. it upset you? It did, actually. Uh, I mean, how could a butch Yorkshireman, the lad from Barnes, how could he die? This is what I said. Come on, I like, beef Oh, stinks of whipped pea and coal dust, <laughs> this man, I'm telling you. <laughs> As if he's going to be, I've got a bit of John L. Bleach on his ear. Are you sure? Said Michael wouldn't go in for that. For God's <laughs> sake, no. Right, now, now uh, what, what about yourself? Now, As you get, some, you know, older, 
I mean, are, are you are you facing up to to old age? Oh, I'm dreading it. Are you? Oh, I'm dreading it. Getting dragged off a come out by a home help at half six <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> and they're brutal. They don't warm their hands. It's slapping <laughs> off your guy. I'm telling you. So what's the future hold up for Lily Savage, apart from the, the clinic in Vohol? Yeah. Uh, Vosal. The Vaux de la Saint Lambert. Uh -huh. All right, fine. I speak French. That. Bonsoir, yeah. monsieur. So, what's the future hold then, do you think? Well, I'm doing blankety blank, aren't I? Yes. Well, that, that out the way shortly. And then um, I might do a little tour. You know, go around the car. I quite like touring. Excellent. Yeah, uh, nice. What about the Blue Balloon Club? Are you going back there? Oh, no, them days is over. There are they. Laptop dancing. <laughs> <laughs> me and Gabby Roslin. Oh, she's hard. I, I, see, people never believe me about Gabby Roslin, saying she was a stripper. She was that soft. Was she? Face like granite. Honestly, she used to come in, people terrified of her. She'd like that with the punters. She'd get her clothes off in ten seconds flat. Now, but I'm not going to be on the bus in four o'clock. I mean, I'm telling you. This is Gabby Roslin. Oh, yes. She was Gabby Rose Lynn in them no, days. No, Gabby Rose. <laughs> The tooting back twirler. <laughs> oh, no. She used to spin him and we dry our hair in front of her. Honestly, God, she was. We didn't have a fan in the dressing room. We'd say, Gabby, get going. She'd be off. No. No. <laughs> Do you know what they used to say what? to us? No. This was the worst thing about the Blue Balloon Club. What? They used to say, if the customer... This is true, this. If the customers like it, they'll fold a five pound... Well, it was ten bob them days. A ten bob note and put it on the table and you have to pick it up. Your buttocks. <laughs> Twix your buttocks. Yeah. Pfft, Gabby could pick the table up. <laughs> let, let the up. <laughs> Tell him No message. No. She's a marvellous woman, you know, Gabby. She is. Oh, she's fabulous. Is one she? of my mates. Really? Yes. Oh, she, yeah. she was one of your mates. Oh, no, she still is. She still is. Oh, let's go. What's her off a duck's back? She's probably drunk now watching <laughs> this, Gabby. <laughs> Lying on the floor roaring. I'm telling you, you don't know what she's like. The place stinks of kebabs. <laughs> she's always getting them on her way home from the club. He's saying, leaving them in an handbag. The place reeks. You've got a, a, a wide range of friends. Because being a celebrity like you are, and I just wondered, I mean, are you acquainted with, with Miss Black who's coming on now? Well, why? We were having a yak main cellar in the dressing room. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. She's got fabulous legs, you know. Is she? She's she wearing kecks tonight. I said, sell her show, but she have a little look. Ask her to pull her kecks off. Shall we? Well, you ask her. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, do. All right. Shall oh, I know. She's full of it tonight, Zella. Honestly, what well, you're here now. Shall we bring her on then? Go on, then. Well, I move me face. All right. Well, They're not real, by the way. But They're first acrylics. of all, you have to take your bows as a star. Ladies and gentlemen, Lily Savage. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs>